Hello and welcome to this short video tutorial. My name is Elaine Topham and today I'm going to be explaining how you can set competition tracking on activities and resources within Moodle. So when you're adding activities and resources onto your page on Moodle, how do you know if a student has participated in that resource, has viewed it, has submitted to it? There's a nice little feature within Moodle that allows you to set this so that when students have viewed or submitted work to assignments or quizzes or forums, the activity is marked off as complete. And that's done with a simple tick box. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to add a web link to my delivery section of my course. And I want to add a web link to this blended learning essentials course on the FutureLearn website. I thought it might be quite interesting for people if they wanted to go off and have a look and do this as a bit of a further um, work, then they can do that. So I've copied my web link and I'm going to go back to Moodle. I'm in the area where I'd like the resource to appear, so my first step is to turn editing on. And then once editing mode is on, you'll be able to see um, the add activity or resources. So I'm going to add an activity. And I need to add an Earl. Now, Earls usually, when you create them in the Moodle, are very simple to create, and quite often we only need to put a name and description. Now, I'm just going to put them briefly in. You may want to put a little bit more information in your description. Um, so, if you wish to display the description on the course page underneath the link, you tick this box. Do that now. And then in the external URL box, you can just simply put paste the web link that you copied earlier. Now, usually when we add links, this is all we get, all we really do. We, we add the link, we give it a name, and then we save and return to course. However, to set activity completion, you'll see at the bottom here, there is actually a section named activity completion. And by clicking on the arrow, that will expand the options under there. So by default, when completion tracking is enabled on your course, as now all new courses, it will be enabled, you will see that by default, and this is the default um, setting for the activity completion, it is set that, so that students can manually mark the activity as completed. That's all well and good if you can be sure that your students are going to tick things off as they've gone through it and not forget what they're up to. But ideally, you want the system so that it marks things off automatically given, um, based on given conditions. So you'll see there's three options for this first drop down. We have do not indicate activity completion. So if you're adding things like labels to a course where students are just going to read the text from the page, I would set the activity completion to do not indicate. Um, mainly because you're not, as long as they've read through it, as long as they can carry on with the task and you don't really need to check that they've read that particular bit of text. Um, there is no way to automatically mark off a label as being complete because obviously it's just read, it's not something that a student interacts with. Similarly, if you're embedding videos within a label, um, you can't set activity completion settings on those. However, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to choose the show activity as complete when conditions are met. Now, the only real condition I need to check for with an URL is that students have viewed it, so that they've actually clicked on the link and gone to the web page. So you'll see there, I've only got one tick box, so it's quite simple for an URL, and I've ticked that so that now when students click on that resource and they go off to visit the, the website, that will tick off that, that on the progress on the mobile course. If you want to set a deadline for when you expect that activity to com be completed by, you would enable this date here and then set the date you want it done by. But as mine's a roll-on, roll-off course, I'm quite happy to leave that disabled. And that's basically it. So if I save and return to course, and if we scroll down, you should see there, there's my link and there's my tick box showing you that this is set to mark as complete once it's viewed and that's basically all thanks for watching there'll be future videos where i'll show you how to set up your progress bar and how to set up your um, course completion status so these little blocks here that can be added to your course and as students go through it um, and mark off activities as complete then their progress will increase 
But that's in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye. -bye.